Okay, quick vid video just to show what I'm going to do. We'll see how if I like it later down the road. But uh, toilet in my RV, in my motorhome. What, basically what happened, excuse me. Uh, obviously the toilet's removed and we got this flange sticking up. Uh, I've, I, can see, I can see on the underside of this, it's all glued fittings. So this flange, and, and there's really... It goes, you know, a 45 into another 45 right down into the tank. So cutting that out is going to be a mess. And what the problem that I had was this side, you can, maybe you can see the shiny part of it. I, I used some epoxy glue, some uh, JB Weld quick setting epoxy. Said it was good for ABS, which is what this is. I've used that and repaired it, but basically if you can see a little section here, the, the ABS plastic cracked and this bolt just pulled up. So when you sit on the toilet, if you, if you leaned a little sideways, this side would come up. There was nothing holding it down. So, suggestion I read from the internet makes a lot of sense to me is I've got wood underneath here and all I really, you know, the plumbing is good. All I really need to do is have something that holds it, the toilet down on this side. So, a hanger bolt, I guess is what this call is called. This is a 5 16ths inch uh, machine thread, I think. Uh, wood screw on the other. So, I'm going to put the wood screw down into the wood and have that sticking up so it'll look like it did before and that should hold the toilet down the trick is going to be getting it in the right spot so that it fits nicely in the holes in the toilet base so we'll get after it so one thing i'm going to do i've got the toilet base sitting in my shower uh one thing i'm going to do is measure the distance from this hole i uh, can't see it but to the other one over here there it is I'm gonna get my tape measure, gonna measure that distance so that I, I hit the right spacing. And to my eye, it looks like about 15 centimeters or five and seven eighths inches center to center, what I need to hit. So as you would expect, it looks like if, uh, if I've got the plastic glued back in, the center of the channel on the left and the right are at the right distance, the 15 centimeters or five and seven eighths. So, We'll just drill a hole straight across on this side where the broken part was and uh, go from there. So there's a blank section in this uh, uh, hanger bolt. So I'm just going to put a couple of nuts on there and a socket and drive it down to the depth I need into the hole. And we'll see if it fits, but now I have one that's pretty fixed. And then this one will have a little bit of slop to it because it's still being held there. So uh, shouldn't have too much trouble getting that mounted. And I don't have a camera mount, so I can't show you. I'll just have to put it on there and trust me that it goes. I'll show you after picture. And it's on. It went, went on pretty nicely. We'll just tighten those up and... Uh, Put the little decorative cap, cosmetic decorative caps back on and we should be back in business.